the garden soil was the apostles and the doctrines of the apostles. The other four all grew out of the dirt of the apostles. So something happened in that first generation. There was a first movement of apostles that was a Jerusalem apostles movement, but that would have died out. So over here he raises up an Antioch movement that keeps replicating. So now you see that this transition is happening. Alors, vous voyez que cette transition est en train de prendre place. The other weird thing that starts happening La chose particulière qui commence à arriver is that these other graces are showing up. Que ces autres grâces -là commencent à apparaître. There's never been an evangelist before. Il jamais eu évangélistes auparavant. Mm -hmm. Ever. Jamais. Mm -hmm. They don't even know what is this thing. Ils savent même pas c'est quoi cette chose-là, évangéliste. They have so many people that they're trying to feed that they set up the deacon program. And one of these deacons, not an apostle, not a church leader, he helps with the feeding program. So he says, I'm going to take my weekend. I'm going to go to Samaria. And a revival breaks out. Et le prend place. Philip the Evangelist. Philip evangelist. They've never had an evangelist. Il eu un evangelist. What is this? Quoi ça fait? Let me say it this way. Dire de cette façon -là. It wasn't an apostle that started the revival in Samaria. Pas un qui est parti le en Samaria. It was this other thing. Cette autre chose -là. It was a deacon. Who got dipped in something. Qui a été comme trempé dans quelque chose. And this evangelistic anointing. Et cette onction évangélique. He gets smeared with grace. Il a été beurré avec cette grâce-là. And it starts to cause evangelism. Et ça commence à causer de l'évangéliste. They don't call him an apostle. Il l'appelle pas apôtre. He becomes something that's never existed. Il devient quelque chose que jamais existé auparavant. Pretty wild. It's said to be a scary time in church history. Stuff is changing like every day. You go a little bit further. So Philip the Evangelist appears in Acts 8. In Acts chapter 11, we have Agabus the prophet. Well, there's never been a prophet in the New Testament. Dans le Nouveau Testament. Not in the New... In, there hasn't been one in the New Covenant. Il a eu dans, un dans nouvelle alliance. We have John the Baptist. Oh. On a Jean Baptiste. But he's not a New Covenant prophet. Excusez, on a Jean Baptiste qui, lui, est un, 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 un prophète de, du Nouveau Testament, mais pas de la Nouvelle Alliance. Jesus said he's the greatest of the old. Il dit que c'est le plus grand de l'ancien. And the least in the kingdom will be greater than him. Le, le plus petit dans le royaume va être plus grand que lui. And before John, we hadn't seen a prophet for 400 years. Et avant Jean Baptiste, on n'a pas vu de prophète pour 400 ans. So this is the first new covenant prophet. Alors c'est le premier prophète de la nouvelle alliance. And he just appears. Il fait juste apparaître. We don't really know much about him. On connaît pas beaucoup à propos de lui. 
Then in Acts 13, it says that in Antioch there's prophets and teachers. But they've never had teachers of the New Covenant. There were teachers of the law. But these guys had just appeared. We don't know where they came from. They just appear. And then there's the pastors. You get to Acts chapter 21. And Paul is talking to the Ephesian elders. And he talks about how savage wolves will rise up. And he says to be good shepherds. It's the same word for pastor. So he's, he's now, we know that now there are pastors. In the first century, the other four all grew out of the dirt of the apostles. The garden soil was the apostles and the doctrines of the apostles and all this other stuff came up out of it. And here we are 2,000 years later. A lot of people don't believe apostles even exist. And our pastors are appearing out of nowhere. And our one evangelist out of nowhere. And our teachers from wherever. And some prophets here and there. And a couple people think. Maybe I'm an apostle. But I'm not 100% sure. But I think so. We're in a complicated place in history. <laughs> Do you see the problem? So we, we're at this place in history now. And we need some good uh, clean, clean up. <coughs> and it's, I believe that apostles still create the other four. If we have true apostles, it creates a soil where the other four will grow up and they'll, they'll, be, uh, they'll be nurtured and they'll have nutrients and they'll be healthy. Does this seem making sense? What happens when we take apostles out is that denominations create the other four. So Bible schools create teachers and we call them theologians and they learn Greek and Hebrew and John Calvin and John Wesley and they don't do any miracles. And we have teachers that don't move in the supernatural. <laughs> That's crazy. Is that crazy? Okay, amen. Good, good. That's crazy. We have pastors who are trained by denominational schools. Now here's how you do weddings and funerals. <laughs> and we learn the practical things. <laughs> here's how we counsel people. <laughs> here's how you run a church. <laughs> but they know there's something missing. <laughs> this is why so many of them burn out. <laughs> There's some wiring missing. There's some relationships that are missing. And so they, they have to kind of shoulder everything. And try to do everything by themselves. That will burn you out. 
And then once in a while, some fiery guy appears. And he says, I'm an evangelist. But we don't exactly know what to do with them. Like, how do they fit? So then a lot of times, sadly, they don't get treated very well. They kind of get used. We need you to go get new people. We love what you do for us. That doesn't feel good over time. And then we have prophets. And we want to make sure they don't take over our church. Like, oh, they could be a little intimidating to the leader that's just trying to run the church. And then somebody who I hear from God. And they seem so much more spiritual than us. So we end up with all these ugly little fights between the four. And that's not what it was supposed to be. We can work amazing together. We can all feel loved and valued. We're not meant to be using each other or controlling each other. We need all of them. So what an apostle does is they make that soil where things can grow up healthy. Where everything in the environment can grow healthy. It's all valued. And, and the branches can be pruned. So the plants aren't, aren't competing with each other. I love creating content for you guys. The biggest thing that you could do as a favor back for me is to share this like crazy. If you want to keep up on it day by day, I would highly recommend that you download the phone app. And if you already have the phone app, tell somebody else to download the phone app and share this on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever, however you want to share it. Help me out, get it out there. Thanks so much.